Hello, my amazing subscribers and welcome newcomers! I am Carnage the Creator and welcome back to Survival Adventures in the wonderful world of Carnage. That is right, we are back again in the world of Carnage, ready to survive and adventure and do all kinds of cool stuff. So I think the very first thing that we should do, because uh, we most definitely need to, we need to eat ourselves a delicious and nutritious steak breakfast, but I think we should also eat ourselves some to kind of balance it out. You can't just eat steak. Sometimes you gotta eat your veggies too. So, let's go ahead and go right on down here. I think at this point in time, we are finally ready to move animals into the barn. Now, I don't know if we want to move in all of the animals because we still have a little bit of a wolf problem. But I'm thinking um, this little this little wolf trap thingy Bob right here is gonna fix pretty much any problem we might have. So, if any wolves do get over here into the front, uh, we should be good. Plus, also, I completely forgot we have ourselves a gate in the front. You know what? We're moving all the animals in. We're not we're not wasting any time. We got this, man. We got this. So, let's go ahead and go down here. Check on our wolf. Our wolf is still hanging out down here. It has not despawned, which means our diabolical plan to trap all of the wolves underground may just very well work. So, let's go ahead and go right on upstairs. And once we get up there... We're gonna we're gonna move these animals around. We've got to do a lot of planning to make this uh, to make this happen. And a smooth transition. We got to make sure that there is absolutely no wolves. If there's any wolves at all, we may run into some serious serious problems. So we're going to uh, go straight on up here. And uh, once we get up here, we're going to most definitely see what's in our inventory. We do got some space, so I think we're going to, uh, first off, grab some wheat. Now, this wheat is going to be very, very good for us. Because we're going to put, um, all of the sheep are going to go upstairs. The whole upstairs, the whole, let's go up there. Let's take a look real quick. Alright, so this whole entire upstairs area, the whole entire thing, this whole ginormous area. This is all going to be sheep. So there's going to be nothing else in here except for sheep. Oh, wait a second. Hold up. We never- Oh, goodness. We are not done with the barn. I thought we were done with the barn. Wait a second. This isn't right. We don't have the lights inside the barn like I was hoping. All right. So, we've got to get ourselves some glowstone. For now, we'll uh, we'll hang out with the with the torches. But I was going to do, like, some, uh, some, some glowstone lamps in the ceiling. Let's do this real quick. We're going to finish up the barn. And then we're going to move the animals in. Now, I do- I do believe that- Oh, no, Piggy. Don't you get out. Get back here, mister. All right. So, I do believe- that our, uh, that our plan here is gonna work out. I think the spacing is gonna be perfect to put four lights in each one of these. Um, I might need some more torches, so let's, uh, let's see what we got. We got ourselves, okay, we got plenty of coal. We can make ourselves some sticks real quick. We got this, man. We got this. We gotta, we're gonna make tons and tons and tons of, uh, of torches right now. Here we go. We've got, we've got, oh goodness, we've got more than I thought. Alright, we've got 33. That's enough, right? So we're gonna go ahead and place this right here and here and here and here again these are temporary we are going to come back in and put glowstone in there oh that's looking good actually so we're going to go ahead and um get all of these torches off the ground we don't need the torches on the ground if we got torches in the ceiling and i do believe that's going to be bright enough hopefully it's <laughs> hopefully i'm really hoping that no mob spawn in here that would be the biggest travesty of all time so we're going to put these down right here there we go, looking good, looking good. We're gonna go right on over to the side. Oh, we actually should go ahead and get rid of this. Actually, you know what? Should we put, should we also put a torch over here on the back sides of these like this? I mean, we're never gonna see it, right? So I'm thinking if we put the torches right there, let's see, are we ever gonna see them? Can we see them? Not really. You cannot see it unless you get like right against the edge. But normally when we're walking through here, we're not gonna be able to see them. And that adds a little bit of extra light. So I'm thinking, let's see what it looks like without this real quick. So let's get rid of this torch and this torch. Did that even add much light at all? I don't think it really adds much light. You know what? Let's just leave them off for now. I don't think mobs will spawn in here. If they do, then we'll uh, we'll readdress the situ the lighting situation. Maybe we'll have to put torches down on the ground, which I really don't want to do. But uh, if we have to do it, then that's fine. All right, so let's go ahead and chop down this one right here, this one right here, this one right here, and this one right here. Man, this thing this thing is looking good. I didn't expect the lighting situation to make this thing just look that much better. Look at that. Without all these torches here, everything's looking nice and clean. It's looking absolutely amazing. So let's go ahead and go right here. Let's get rid of this torch, this torch, and this torch. Let's go ahead and chop on up on this ceiling. Let's get this block right here moved. This block, this block, and this block. I thought the barn was completed. I really and truly did. Well, I mean, technically the barn is completed, but we're we're just doing some redecorating. We're not we're not finishing the barn. We're doing some remodeling is what we're doing. We're kind of upgrading the barn. We're giving it to the next level of barnism. So let's go ahead and go right on over here. And uh, let's get rid of all the torches. We'll put a little bit extra upstairs. Let's get rid of 
all of these right here. You know, let's get rid of all the torches first. Let's go ahead and get that out the way. We only have um, a few torches in these things, so it shouldn't take long. We've got four of them in there. I think each one of these have four, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think I think that's what I did. I think put exactly four in each one. I don't think I was just, just throwing them around all randomly in junk. So let's go ahead and get um, this torch out of here. Oh, that's five in here. We might have we might have been a little bit more random than I thought. All right, so we've got 45 torches now. Look at that. That is a that's a whole lot of torches. All right, so let's chop this one down, and this one down, and this one down, and this one down. We do need some glowstone, but uh, we can we can go get that eventually. We don't even have the glowstone inside of the uh, the storage room in the house done. So we've got we've got to really get our glowstone game um, up to par. So let's go ahead and uh, chop this down right here, right here, right here right here and i am aware there is holes in the ceiling right now but i think that'll that'll be okay for now we'll just uh we'll deal with it we're not gonna we're not gonna worry about patching it up or anything because we're gonna be putting some glowstone in here so we're gonna um just at least put the torches in like this right now i know this is gonna look kind of funky it's gonna look kind of funky until we get the uh the things done but you cannot see inside of it anyway so that's fine all right so let's go ahead and place these in here now put one here one here one here and one here Let's go on over to this other side. I'll put one here, one here, one here, and one here. And then we'll go ahead and go on over to this side, and we'll put one here, 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 and here. And I do believe I have all of the torches done now. They're all looking good. We got them all facing the right way and everything. So there we go. We've got our, our torch situation dealt with. At least, hopefully. Hopefully no mobs will spawn in here. Anyways, let's go ahead and try to move some mobs in here. Not mobs, it's some animals. Let's try to move some animals. We already got... A uh, little piggy over here. He's hanging out. So uh, let's try to move our pigs first. Oh, there's a pig right here. Pig, come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on up the ladder. Can you do it? Can you climb the ladder, piggy? Do you have the technology? Come on over here, buddy. Let's get you a little bit further. Will you go around the ladder? I don't know. Maybe, maybe that pig's a lost cause. All right, so we're going to go right on over here. We're going to open up the pig enclosure, and we're going to have a giant swarm of piggies. Well, we don't have too many piggies, but... And um, when we get to the cows and stuff, we're gonna have more of a swarm. All right, so come on out here, piggies. Let's see if I can get all of you out here. You gotta share the door space, man. Come on, get on out here. Come on out. Actually, you know what? I don't even have to. I don't even have to have this here anymore. I can go ahead and chop on a big giant doorway. There we go. All right, piggies, come on over here. I've got. I got some delicious and nutritious carrots. I gotta. I think I gotta push them. I think they're a little bit stuck. They got the paws all, all hung up in the door. All right, so let's go right on over here. Piggies, oh yeah, here we go. We got our, our mob of piggies. We're gonna move them on over here. Hopefully they don't fall into the hole. That's the that's the important thing. Hopefully they'll keep up and they won't fall into the hole. So we're gonna go right on over here. We kinda be a little bit slow if we can. There we go. Alright, so they're coming on up here. Here we go. We've got three, four. There we go. Alright, I was hoping hoping I could get all four of them. Please don't fall into the hole. I'm not trying to lure you into a hole. I'm trying to lure you to your new home. We're gonna open this up. We're gonna get it on. Um, get all of these on here. We're gonna get it on opened up. We got it opened up by two doors. There we go. Look at that. We've got one, two, three, four, five piggies. Look at that. That was so much quicker than I thought it is getting nighttime. I think I might should wait on the cows. Actually, as a matter of fact, I probably should uh kind of just patch this up a little bit. So we, we don't want any we don't want any mobs falling in here right now. So we're gonna we're gonna patch this up for just uh, just for now. For this right here. I don't think any mobs will fall into the ladder thing. All right, I think this is this should be good, right? Right? I don't know. We're gonna let's just patch it all the way up. We don't want any mobs falling in. We already got one pig that fell in there, so we're gonna go ahead and patch this up all the way. Um, you know what? Let's 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 patch the ladder up too. Why not? We'll just go and do that as well. And now let's go to sleep, and then we'll come on back out here, and we'll get all of these animals. We're gonna have to kill that wolf over there. I'm sorry, wolf. You're not gonna be allowed. You know what? I'm gonna do that now because I don't want to lose track of him, and he ends up killing all of our sheep when we go to move our sheep. So we're gonna kill the wolf, and then we're gonna go ahead and head on over here, and uh, we're gonna go take a nice little snooze, a nice little nap, and when we wake up, we're gonna be moving a ton of beef. We're gonna be moving all the cows. As, as many of them as we can. We're going to move as many of these cows as we can. And um, hopefully, just hopefully, we don't lose any of them on the way. I don't know if we're going to be able to trap all of the men. But we're going to we're gonna trap at least most of the men. And I don't know how many of these are actually going to fit in there. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and chop this open. We're going to need to uh, go ahead and open up this right here. Oh, I'm sorry. And we'll open up the door right here. And we'll go ahead and chop this one down right here. All right. All right, cows, come on! I've got, I've got some good stuff for you. I got a, I got a nice big helping of wheat. I got 60 pieces of wheat. I got plenty for all of you. Just come on over. Oh, one of them, one of them is like, I'm staying on the, on the, on the hay bale. You can't fool me. This is all made out of wheat. So we're gonna go right on up here. Again, I don't expect to get all of these cows. Um, just a good amount of them. I just want a big chunk of these cows. Ooh, 
goodness. Hold up. We got a, a wolf situation. I should have just opened that up and let the wolf go down here. Oh, cows. Come on. Hey, look. I still got the wheat. Come on. Come on. We've got we got the good stuff right here. Come on down here, cows. Look at look at look at look at look what I got. They're all they all ignored me. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Cows 2.0. Here we go. Cow moving 2.0. We got this. It's all sorted out. The cows are gonna come after it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on up here, cows. We've got we've got three cows. Are you kidding me? Come on, we got we gotta get more than that. We gotta get more more, more beef than that. Alright, so we're gonna go right on over here. We're gonna open this up. We'll just open up um, just two of them. And we'll let the cows come on in here. We'll at least get a few of them in here for now. And then we'll go ahead and close this on up. And we'll try to move a few more of them. We've got tons of cows over. Maybe we should just kill all these cows, actually, because we could get tons of steak from this. I don't know. Let's see if any, any more of these will come up here. We're gonna take three chances at this. We're gonna we're gonna try to move them three times, and whatever cows are left behind, we're just gonna either leave or kill. So we're gonna lure all of these cows on over here. We've got at least three more coming in here. Man, there's cows everywhere. Hashtag cows everywhere. We're gonna move on over here, and we've got cows moving in. Yeah, I don't know if we should really do too many more cows because we've got we've got tons of cows already in here. Maybe we'll move one more group. Let's check. let's go for one more group. I said we're gonna go for three three um, three trips. So we've got two more cows that might be two or three more cows. Yeah, three more cows. Here we go. We've got three more cows that might be able to make it in here. If I can if I can get them all in here without um, without letting any of them escape. So let's go right on over here. Come on in here, cows. Come on all the way to the back. All the way to the back. I'm gonna go ahead and run on out of here. Close this gate. There we go. Look at that. Look at all those cows. We got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, I think. Nine or ten. We got three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know. I'm, I'm not counting. I'm not counting. I give up. I give up on it. We're not we're not dealing with this anymore. It's time to get ourselves some steaks. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna kill this cow right here. And then we're gonna kill this cow right here. I'm sorry, Mr. Moo Moo, but I gotta I gotta kill you. And I do believe we had another cow try to go on over to the mine shaft. Cow, where did you go? Did you go into the mine shaft? He didn't go into the mine shaft. Maybe he went over. Maybe he went over the mountain. Oh, there he is. I knew you were over here, cow. You're trying to escape my sword. I'm sorry, cow, but you're going to get turned into some steaks. I know you don't mind because because you've always wanted to be a steak. Didn't you, cow? Didn't you? You tell the truth now. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go right on over here. Uh, I think we may have got all the cows. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe there's some. Oh, no, we got one more over there. Maybe there's some more um, hanging out over here. But here is the, uh, the big thing. We have got to get... Um, all of the sheep over here and this is gonna be very very problematic because we have wolves over here still All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to open this back up. Let's see if this works out I'm gonna open this back up pig. I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to you have to you have to get down get out of here All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open this back up and hopefully this one wolf over here um, If it does start coming to us, hopefully he'll run into here. I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll see um, that or or hopefully it'll just stay on over there. I don't want to kill the wolf because I think I could trap another one in there uh, before this episode's up. But I do definitely want to kill this one. It's far it's far too far away um, to go into that trap over there. So we just got to kill the wolves that are too far away. All right, let's look around and make sure we've got everything dealt with. I don't see any more wolves. Oh, no, I do see more wolves. I see one right here already trying to eat my sheep. Get out of here, fool. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put our wheat right next to our sword. So if we see any... Oh, I got to eat. Let's get ourselves a bunch of carrots really quick. And if I see any wolves starting to attack the sheep, I can easily switch to my sword. So there we go. Let's go ahead and open this up. We don't have too many sheep to begin with. So let's uh, let's kind of just open up this enclosure. I don't want to open it up too much because I don't want... um, I don't... Oh, I don't want this to happen! Get out of here, wolf! All right, so come on over here, sheep. I already opened the gate. You know what? I'm going to I'm gonna have to open this door as well, aren't I? Let's go ahead and... There we go. All right. Come on, sheep. I just at least need... If I could just get two sheep, I think I could deal with this. I think I could deal with this if I could get... Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. This is... This is gonna be... Uh, this is gonna be a handful. All right. So, let's, uh... Let's grab two sheep. Let's close this. We're gonna move just a couple of them at first. And then we'll try to move a, a great big, big, like, group of them. So, uh, we can do this kind of slowly. We don't have to move all of them at once. Um, there is a wolf over there, so hopefully he doesn't go over there and kill all the sheep. Oh, I see him going over there. I don't know if he's gonna be able to kill any of them. Alright, so, come on, sheepy sheep. Come on, I got the wheat right here. What are you doing? Come on, move your butt, move your butt, move your butt. There's wolves out here. Come on, get out, get on over here. What are you doing? Come on. Come on, sheep. Come on. Okay, you know what? We're gonna have to take a- Oh, no, here we go. I was gonna say, we're gonna have to take a trip and get a, another sheep because it looks like the wolf is over there trying to eat all of them. I think he might have got in. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, come on, sheep. Come on, come on, come on. Come after the wheat. Come after the wheat. There's a... All right. You know what? Sheep, you stay here. 
I'm gonna have to go save the rest of them because I feel like the wolf got in there somehow. All right, so we're gonna go right on up here. I'll jump on over here. Oh no, he didn't get in, but he's definitely angry. Get out of here, wolf. No one invited you to the carnage party. All right, so now we're gonna go back on over here. We're gonna try to move these two sheep right here. Hopefully it'll work. Yeah, here we go. They're coming after it. They're coming after it. As long as we don't move too fast, they should be staying going after it. So we're gonna go right on up here. Get all the way up to the top. Hopefully. Oh, did that pig get out? Oh, no, because we pushed the pig down. That must be a whole different pig. All right, so we're going to go right on up here. We've got two sheep that should be coming out. We could move that sheep, too, if we needed to, but that's the one for the trap. So let's uh, let's try not to do that. Anyways, we got two sheep coming in. There we go. Awesome. All right, so we need to get you guys on up the stairs. Hopefully, you'll follow me up here. I don't know if they're... If they'll if they'll go up here. Come on up here, sheep. Come on. Come on. We just need we just need a few of you up here. So we're gonna go right on up here. And I think what I'm gonna do for these sheep, I think I'm gonna put one in here. Unless they both come in at the same time. Come on, come on, come on, sheep. Yeah, there we go. I was gonna say I was gonna put one in here, and then I'll put another one in a different one. But you know what? That doesn't really matter. Alright, so technically we've got enough sheep now, because we can just breed those two together. But let's try to go get the giant group of them. If we can. I'm thinking some of them are going to end up dying on the way or not paying attention and they end up running away and we're going to end up having to kill them and get some, uh, get some, uh, whatchamacallit, get some stuff, get some food from them. But we're going to go right over here. There's just a serious wolf problem on this side of the map. Get out of here. All right, so let's go ahead and chop this on up. We're going to break the fence down and here we go. This is, this is all of it right here. I'm sorry, sheep. This is, this is it. This is your last chance to hop aboard the, uh, the, the, the safe train. Because this is literally, this is it. This is my last call. If any of you stay in here, you're going to end up getting eaten by wolves. So we've got four sheep coming in. Maybe we can get some more. Let's try to, let's try to hit them and see if they'll get up off the fence. Try to hit all of them, just like so. All right. So let's see if that, that changed anything. No, nope, we still only have four of them. I don't know. Maybe we could uh, come back and get those ones, but I don't think so. I think they're going to be all eaten by wolves by the time we get back. So we're going to go as fast as we can right on over here. We do have sheep that need to listen because there's wolves in the world that will bite your face off. Come on, sheep. What are you doing? Get over here. You, purple sheep. What are you doing, man? You're just, you're just hanging out. That's not... That's not okay, you know what? You, you, you hang out there. You hang out. I'm telling you, there's wolves around. Oh, no. He's like, I, I know, I know. I'm just messing with you. These are some trolling sheep. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go right on over here. And we are going to uh, try to get all four of these up here. We're going to move nice and slow so that they come up here. If just one wolf gets over there. All of those sheep are done is all I'm saying. So we're going to we're gonna try to be kind of quick about this. But at the same time, we got to be nice and steady so that these uh, sheep don't get behind. So we're going to go right on over here. I don't see any wolves over there yet. So we are we are in the clear so far. But that doesn't mean that there won't be some over there by the time we get back. So we've got three sheep. One of them got left behind. Sheep, are you coming up here? Are you coming up? Are you? I don't know if he is. I don't know if he is or isn't. Did we get him? I don't know. All right, we're going to we're gonna bring these three up. We'll try to come back and get that one. And then, uh, then we'll see what we'll have to do from there. Maybe, maybe we can save some other ones. I don't know. But come on in here, sheep. Sheep! Come on, what are you doing, man? Come on, it's just a gate. You've seen gates before? They're going like gates, man. All right, so we've got, we've got two more sheep. It looks like that is as many as you can get. These are some stubborn sheep. They don't, they don't realize that there is most definitely some wolves out there that will bite their faces completely off. So come on over here. You green and a purple sheep. Let's get you right on over here into a brand new pen. Check it out. This is your new home. This is this is where you can uh, this is where you can check out all the other all the other different colored sheep and just hang out with them. So eventually, what I plan to do is get um, every single color of sheep up. I don't know if that's gonna be like a realistic thing to do. So we got a problem. All right, actually no, we don't. Because what we can do? Wait for it. Wait for it. We're going to let our let our trap do do its job. All right, so we're gonna go right on over here, and then we're going to chase this one in, and we're going to need to grab ourselves an extra lead, and um, hopefully we can uh, we can hook them up down here somewhere. So let's go ahead and hook them up over here with the other one. There we go. Let's hook them up. There we go. We've got two wolves down here now. Also, I'm gonna kill this pig. I'm gonna take his pork chops because he's just been he's just been through a lot, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, put him out of it. Oh, we got another one. We got another one. Now, we're not going to put him out of his misery because that was a happy piggy, but there was no way, no escape from him over here. So, we're going to turn him into pork chops because I'm pretty sure he would prefer to be a pork chop. Dog, will you get out of my way, man? Come on, what are you doing? All right, we've got three wolves down there. I don't know if they're going to eventually despawn. So far, the one that we uh, initially hooked up hasn't despawned. So, there's hope that this is going to work, but I think we should isolate each and 
every one of these wolves into their own little um, their own little space so that they can uh, not move around. I feel like if they keep moving around, they're going to end up breaking the leads. So um, eventually, hopefully, uh, by maybe next episode, we can deal with that. But I think at this point in time, we are we're done moving animals. I don't think there's anything we could do. Uh, from this point because all of those sheep they're done they are just done for so I think what we should do now is we should uh, grab <laughs> grab the uh, the what you call it right here grab the mutton let's put up this oak fence gate let's just toss that we don't need that right now I rather have I rather have this mutton get out of here wool I rather have the mutton I can get I can get wool later now with that said Let's go ahead and go on over to the house. We're going to go to sleep, and then we're going to go to the Wall of Carnage. And maybe some of those sheep will be there in the next episode. Maybe they won't. But luckily for us, we at least have some sheep. We at least have some cows. And we can start moving some other animals uh, maybe in the next episode. So let's go ahead and go to sleep really quick. And once we wake up, we're going to go to the Wall of Carnage and see who has been added today. Now, this is absolutely my favorite part of the series. Because this is where I get to add one of you guys to my world forever and ever and ever. So that you guys can be a part of the world, too. So... Let's go ahead and go back here and see who has been added today. First off, we do have to take a look out for creepers. We do not... Oh, there's a witch over there. It's not a creeper. I think we should be safe. I think everything's good. All right, so joining us today on the Wall of Carnage is... Caden Stew. So congratulations, Caden, on getting added to the Wall of Carnage. Now, remember, guys, if you want to get added to the Wall of Carnage, just like Caden over here, all you got to do is leave some comments down in the comment section below, and I'll be choosing one lucky person each and every episode to add to the Wall of Carnage. But with that said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you did, you know what to do. Go ahead and leave a like on this video. And uh, if you are one of the first 100 people to like this video, let me know down in the comment section below. But I'm Carnage the Creator. Catch you guys in the next video. And I'm out. Carnage the Creator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're watching Carnage the Creator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're watching Carnage the Creator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're watching Carnage the Creator. Creator, Creator. Yeah. yeah.